54% of Mercedes S clusters were sold in China. So a pretty important market. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so, so we're gonna definitely um, uh, do a major uh, push in, in, in China. And, and actually some of the most uh, enthusiastic potential customers we've seen are people from China. So, um, so, we, so we actually wanna make sure that the car uh, ha actually has features which are um, specific to the Chinese market um, and, and make sure that it's not just you know, taking an American product and you know, just sort of sending it to China without any, any changes. So we wanna make sure it's tailored to the market. Um, and uh, uh, Japan as well. I don't want to, you know, you know a lot of, it's not many American cars sell in Japan, but I think that would be, <coughs> like, which, which Good symbolism. Should, yeah, I mean, like, I think we, we should take the Japanese market seriously, and, and, um, and I think if we do things right, we, we should have reasonable sales there. Um, so, um, yeah, so that, that's going to be uh, next year. <coughs> I mean, as far as copying stuff, I think that, that's certainly a risk. I, I think China's actually getting a lot better um, these days, and I, and I think the the new government is taking taking intellectual property a lot more seriously. Um, so I'm actually starting to feel more and more confident about uh, that the, the technology not actually not being copied in in China, or at least you know it, it getting much better. Um, and I, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue until we want to establish local production, and that that's that's where you know we need to make sure that we we do it right and. Um, there's not an incentive for the, the factory team that we established there to sort of go across the road and create a competing factory. Uh, but but that'll, that concern is a few years away. Great. Do we have another one? Oh, yeah. Up upstairs. here. And the students are largely upstairs. Yeah, is that up right? Here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, Alan. <laughs> this is Gabriel Parra, MBA student. Uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, this is very inspiring.